What's happening humans? It's another good day for GTA. So here we go again guys. Rockstar rolled out some more patches. They took away the solo duplications we had. But here we go in no time at all. A new working solo arcade duplication for you guys. So we're going to need to get the car we are duplicating inside our MOC inside our bunker. This car has already been inside my MOC. I have just driven it out. You must take it into the MOC first. Then simply park it up like I am and now you need to make your way to your arcade. You can take a CEO buzzard, you can take a street car or you can do a target mode teleport like I am doing in the video here. Links below if you don't know how to do that. So head on into your arcade, it doesn't matter if you enter through the door or the garage. But once we get inside we will need to head up to the office to make sure that a secret door that heads down to the garage is open. Now you can come in this way, go up and open it, or you can enter through the garage and actually come up the stairs and open it before going downstairs, whichever way suits you best. Now we need to head down behind the bar area like I am and get to this spot where you can hit right d-pad to serve drinks. Now once you have hit right d-pad you are going to need to bounce off someone in a different target mode, so that can be someone on your friends list, a community, or through a crew that I've joined like I've done here. Join a big one like IGN or Painkiller and you'll always have someone online to bounce from. I failed to join the first person I joined so I just had to pick one or two more people off the list until I actually got the, the session details I needed. So when you find someone to join and you get the session details you're going to accept the first alert and you're going to decline the second alert which asks you about changing your target mode. Now you want to go onto the pause menu and you're going to go to the criminal enterprise pack you're going to load it up and then you're going to back out and then you're going to scroll up to jobs. You're going to go to Rockstar Created, you're going to go to Play Jobs, Missions and you're going to start a Titan of a Job. Now you will get two alerts on that, accept them both and then you will be frozen. You need to go back onto the pause menu, you scroll up to Shark Cards, you select it. Now you can close the pause menu and you should have the right D-pad option in the top of the screen now. Now your character can move again, you can start heading upstairs and then make your way down to the garage which should have elegies already parked inside it. Now I don't use an elegy because I'm trying to make space because my garages are full, but whatever you do, do not use a streetcar or your dupes will end up being worthless. So as you approach the car, now hold down the accelerator, now press Y to enter the car, and as your character starts to climb in, quickly hit right D-pad and you should get a bit of a flash and maybe see your character disappear and then you will spawn outside on foot with no car. So all we have to do now is make our way back to the bunker with our chosen method, teleport, CEO, buzzard, a street car but no personal vehicles guys still. And if you've made it to this point, there's no reason anything else uh, should be wrong. Sadly, if you drove out with the car, you must have got the timing wrong with the right D-pad. It is tricky to find, and I'm afraid you must start again from the bunker step at the beginning. But for those of you that have made it here flawless so far, you're winning. And when you go inside, the car will be there just where you parked it. Now, all we have to do to save this duplication is simply drive it up to the back of our MOC. Hit right D-pad, it will tell you that the storage is full, that's fine, you just accept that alert to store it. And now this is your new duplication, the original car inside the MOC has just moved on to the arcade wherever you drove out that elegy. Guys, it took me three or four attempts to hit this for the first time in the arcade with the hitting the right D-pad timing. So don't get too frustrated if you miss it. It is doable, it just takes a little bit of practice just to find out when you need to actually hit right D-pad. I tend to try and hit it just as my character lifts the leg to step into the car. So to repeat this glitch, all you have to do is bring your freshly duped car out of the MOC, park it back up like you did before, and just repeat the steps that we've all just done, guys. Okay, excellent, that's us all done here. Time for you to go and try it. Don't forget to like and sub. And as always, take it easy, humans.